there's this wonderful saying that's been around for so many years by this guy called Oliver Wendell Holmes. He said, I would not give a fig for the simplicity of this side of complexity, but I would give my life for the simplicity on the other side of complexity. What was he talking about? He was talking about this idea. When you start out with anything, that thing seems simple. And then as you add more and more of whatever it is you're learning into it, complexity arises. And there comes a point where there's sort of a, a peak of complexity. And then an interesting thing happens where you integrate that complexity almost back to simplicity. And that simplicity you could almost refer to as a neutral state, a neutral point. And yet it is not the simplicity that you started out with. It is the simplicity on the other side of complexity. And that's what Mr. Holmes was getting at. That integration of complexity and simplicity within that neutral state is incredibly powerful. So what I'm trying to convey to you is that do not ever think that because something comes across as being neutral, as it comes across as being nothing much going on, don't think there is not enormous power going on below the surface. Anyone who's studied martial arts, anyone who's studied energy work will know this for a fact, that you get almost the greatest power from not exerting yourself, from allowing something to flow through you. Now, I hope you're starting to see the almost how this links in with manifesting itself, with the law of attraction. It's almost like the less you try, the more powerful it becomes. But the trying comes, or, or the lack of trying, comes from this neutral state, the neutrality after complexity. So with these manifesting subjects, you start off with a simple mind, you could say, and then you get a very complex mind when you integrate, you, you get all these theories and methods and ideas and you work on them. And then at some point, you reach a peak of that complexity and you start to integrate all that knowledge into who you are. And then you end up back with another simple mind. And yet, it's simplicity with enormous power behind it. So when people say they manifest stuff with very little effort, this is why they can do it. They have had to go through that complexity back to another version of simplicity. So never judge anything by the complexity of it, because that's probably you're, you're seeing just the learning phase at that point. When you see somebody doing something with simplicity and they're achieving results, you can be sure they went through some form of complexity beforehand. And as once you have this understanding that this path exists, you're less worried because while you yourself may be taking on more and more knowledge and more and more methods and all these sorts of ideas, don't worry, that integration will happen. And today's webinar, I'm going to try and help you integrate that with some ideas.